Think we're good? Go. We'll go ahead. All right. <clears throat> First, we've got to give credit to Virginia. Did a great job. Coach Mendenhall did a super job of getting his team ready and uh, prepared to play ball. Um, disappointing loss for sure. Uh, imp impressed with the uh, fight of our team all the way through. Uh, you know, fighting hard to get back in it at the end. Unfortunately, had a couple penalties that hurt us uh, in the very end. But guys played their heart out. And uh, we weren't good enough tonight. We certainly struggled offensively. Uh, you can ask about the quarterback change, and I just felt like I needed a guy with some veteran experience in there to be able to handle the, what, the situation. Um, Nikosi, I think, is a really outstanding player and has got a lot of uh, bright future ahead of him. But tonight, uh, the way things were going, uh, I wanted to go ahead and give Malik an opportunity to get in here and get us back in this ball game. And uh, I thought Malik did a good job. You know, as far as who's going to play next game, you all want to ask that. I, I can't tell you that right now. Uh, but uh, we'll be looking at the film. I know. Uh, the, uh, the the last play Nikosi played, he was uh, we had a, a flag route, and uh, looked like the receiver went over the top of the safety, which you got to go you got to go underneath the safety. That's what it looked like in hindsight. And um, Nikosi was throwing the ball to the spot where he thought the receiver should be running it, and uh, so you know that one we'll just have to you know look at the tape and see, but might not have been that poor of a decision or even that poor of a throw. But we got, you know, that's the whole thing. We got to be coordinated. We got to be on the same page. And everybody's got to do what they're supposed to do. Um, again, it's uh, going to be a tough pill to swallow, long flight home, and a long time before we get to play another game. So we got a lot of things uh, to straighten out, and we got some time to do it. So with that, you can open it up. Hey Mark, obviously you're going to find all kinds of problems, but um, wasn't one of the biggest ones at the line of scrimmage with the offensive line consistently getting whipped? Well, we didn't get we didn't get much running the ball. You know, we, when we did try to run on early downs, we didn't get a lot of uh, a lot of space. Ended up in third down long too much, and you know, not many people can just exist uh, down after down on third downs if you're if you're going for third and long. Uh, so that happened. And again, we'll we'll see exactly what happened. You know, sometimes it's the line's going to take the brunt of it, but um, we've got tight ends that are supposed to block. We've got backs that are supposed to block. We've got receivers that are supposed to block. So uh, I'm sure we'll find um, that everybody's got to do a better job, offense, defense, and special teams. But I'm not going to put this on any guy, any position group. So if you're all looking for that, you guys can do that, but I'm not going to do that. We're a team, and we're going to stick together. A couple of decisions. Uh, you guys had the third and short, the opening drive of the second half. Right. Ran the same line. You had a lot of success. In the right. Third and shorts, but any thoughts of play action or doing something else? We just felt confident. To get it. Uh, you know, all year long, if it's one or less, we made it, mm -hmm. and uh, we just believed in it. We believed we could get that yard or half a yard or whatever it was, and didn't get it. You know, we had uh, the ability to to run some play action pass on there, but. That amount of yardage all year long, we've really been 100%. And uh, we just, we believed in it and it didn't work. Yeah, and I guess the decision for the onside kick. Yeah, you know, <laughs> the, once, once we got the penalty, mm -hmm. and the ball got moved up 15 yards. If you go onside and you get it, it's glorious. You go onside and you don't get it, normally the guy gets tackled right there. And, you know, so. You know, you may lose 10 to maybe 15 yards of field position if you don't get it, still have time, time three timeouts, still can get a stop. Uh, but obviously, you know, them get, you know, uh, you know, returning the ball as far as they did just turned out to be bad. I mean, you know, you could debate that both ways. If there wasn't the penalty and there would have even been a thought, we'd have kicked it deep and, and all. But, uh, you know, you kick it deep, get a three and out, Get the ball back. You got better field position. You got um, you got some timeouts to work with. Could have gone that way, or 
I mean, might have got it and everybody thought it was a great idea. You know, it's, that's how it is on those types of decisions. When they work, they're brilliant. When they don't work, you know, you question them. And I don't, I don't blame you for the question. As a coach, how do you address the untimely bad penalties? I mean, do you yeah. lack of focus or lack of discipline? What uh, well, gosh, you know, it's an emotionally charged game. Guys are human. Uh, you know, you don't want anybody to make a mistake like that. I mean, you know, it hurts for sure. Um, but, um, you know, bottom line is, you know, I got a lot of faith in these kids. And, and uh, you know, I mean, I'm sure of anybody who's upset with themselves, you know, anybody who did something like that, I'm sure was upset with themselves. But, and, you know, it's certainly not ways to, not a way to win a ball game, but, you can see why things happen, but we got to be more disciplined than that as a team. Sorry if you had right. <clears throat> You talked about Nikosi, what you saw, why you performed. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll say it again. Um, you know, just I felt like we needed a more mature guy there that's been through a lot more situations. Um, and uh, I felt like it was time to give Malik a shot to, you know, uh, you know handle the the pressure of the situation at that moment. And I did also say that I think Nikosi's a really talented kid, going to be a great player. And, and uh, you know, but at that moment, I feel like Malik was better equipped to handle what was going on as far as, uh, you know, just the, uh, the situation, just the situation in general. With 13 days before the next game, did you have to reassess the position now? Again? Yeah, I mean, well, how I see it is, you know, both those young men are really talented guys that can that can play and can function, and and uh, I mean that's the good news. We'll we'll figure out you know who gives us the best shot the next time we play. But um, you know, I thought Malik did a good job when he went in there for the most part. I know there's a pick. I don't know if it got tipped at the line or got hit as he was throwing it. The one that uh, the one that got picked, unfortunately, and even going back to Nikosi's second pick. Um, I, I got a feeling that there's a little uh, miscommunication on the angle of the route that was run. I think he was throwing it to the spot he should throw it. Um, the receiver took a little bit too high of an angle, I, I believe, but I'm not 100% sure, so I hate to put it on him. Mark, it's heat of the moment, obviously, but how did they respond? You know, Nikosi good, to him and good. Nikosi, you know, great kid. I mean, first of all, they like each other a lot. They're good friends. And uh, as hard as it was, you know, for Malik to handle the, the change, um, he handled it well, and he showed class. and And he was ready. He was ready tonight. He he was great in the meetings. He was great in practice. He wasn't complaining. Uh, I can't say he was excited about everything that was going on, but he knew that there was a chance he could get in there again. And if he had to go in again, he, he needed to be ready. And he did prepare well. He he, he prepared extremely well, yeah. and he made some plays that. Uh, we're outstanding on that touchdown drive. If, if you had to say this already, um, I'm probably said it, but that's well. We tried to wait for everybody. <laughs> what but, was what was your message to the to the team? Well, first of all, that we are a team, and that uh, you know things don't always go the way you want, and um, you know we have what we call a hideaway with uh, the coaches, and uh, it's kind of an off season time to talk about everything having to do with the program and. And, uh, you know, the first note to the coaches, it talks about loyalty. And, uh, you know, there's times, it, there's times that, you know, the staff's got to defend me. Sometimes I got to defend the staff. Sometimes we got to defend the players. Sometimes the players got to defend us. You know, the bottom line is we, we must be loyal to each other. And that's, that's paramount. And that's, that's true of any really good team. Um, we know that people are going to question a lot of things. People are going to. Uh, you know, say this or say that. And, um, you know, so the only thing we could do is stay strong from within because that's what's really most important. I mean, people that are in leadership positions and people that are in the arena, so to speak, that are like even on this field, laying it on the line, uh, I mean, it's, it's sometimes easy to, to, you know, look at it from a distance and not be in the middle of it and say what should have done and what we shouldn't have done. You know, it's easy after the fact to to say those things, and so you know the main thing for us is to 
uh, is to stick together and believe in each other and get better. You know, we still got a lot of a lot of football ahead of us, and we still have the opportunity to get to Charlotte. You know, that's not dead. That's not over. Uh, but uh, certainly a, a, a game that uh, Virginia earn, earned the, the right to win, and uh, we just didn't do enough to get it done. <clears throat> Yeah. Well, we'll keep them busy, but uh, yeah, it, it's it's tougher. But maybe that's exactly what we need to assess, you know, everything, um, top to bottom. We have time to do that. If there's time, if there is a, if there is a time in the season to make certain changes, you can do them. Whether it's just scheme or, you know, how you maybe personnel or whatever it may be. So uh, sometimes time will help you, but um, you know, certainly it'll. There'll be a couple of sleepless nights for me, I know. Last one, guys. I know everybody can play the result, but when you look back at the way the offense has maybe sputtered the last couple of weeks, do you at all look at play calling too? Is that something that yeah. you be more aggressive or change Yeah, like well, I mean, you just, uh, there were some, we called plays that we practiced all week, I know that. We called plays that we had faith in. We called plays that we thought would give us the best chance in all situations, uh, we we had, we called plays that where we took shots. We had called plays where, um, you know, we were going to be, you know, just trying to run the ball. We had inside zone, outside zone, ran counter. We ran, you know, ran a lot of different things and things that we thought would succeed, and and they didn't. And why they didn't succeed, succeed, um, you know, we'll see. But uh, most of the time, when you look at the tape, it's a matter of. You know, somebody or a couple guys not getting getting their job done normally. You know, and then are there some other are there some plays we could call that would give us a better chance? I'm I'm certain of that. But um, we we call plays that we worked hard on and believed in, and they've had success over the last 30 years. So felt pretty good about them going in. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, defense did great. Defense did great most of the time. You know, weren't perfect, but they pretty they did good. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, yeah. Thanks,